Here we are with uh, Andrew, and Andrew's a very, very good player. He's uh, one handicap. He's uh, told me that uh, probably his biggest issue is his long iron play. And so we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna have him hit some shots and see how, how uh, what he's doing. Take a look at the numbers and then uh, see if we can't, can't get you better. Sounds good. All right, well, let's get started. Okay. Andrew, why don't you come on over and let's take a look. Okay, as we're looking at these numbers, uh, this, is, this number smash factor is basically tells you how solidly you hit it. It's the relationship of how fast the ball's going versus how fast the club's going. So that ball's going .38 times faster than the club. Okay, so that's not bad. Tour average uh, for a five iron probably be around 140, 141, something like that. So it's not bad. Attack angle is how much up or down you're hitting on the ball. And you hit down on that ball four degrees, and that's a real good number. Uh, no problems with that. Uh, your backspin, 5,800. And basically what we look for for spin uh, is about a, a thousand a number. So you'd want the five iron to be in the 5,000 to 6,000 range, the four iron in the 4,000 to 5,000 range and so forth. So you've got, uh, got plenty of spin. Here's one of the things that, that jumps out right here is the path of your swing, okay, is three and a half degrees to the left. Okay, so that's the outside end, uh, which we know you have a tendency to hit a fade. So that would be probably fairly typical, if not even uh, more so, uh, once you get going. Uh, your face angle was basically square, you know, uh, 0 0.8, you know, less than one degree off. Uh, dynamic loft, 17 degrees. What that means is how much loft you have an impact. Okay, so like if you have, uh, with a five iron, you're going to have about 30 degrees of loft. So that means that you're taking 13 degrees of loft off. Part of that came off because you hit a little bit thin, mm -hmm. and so that de-lofts it uh, a little, makes club deflect backwards a little bit as well. And then the height, and this is what I think is where you could really make some improvement. Your height is 73 feet, and you want to try to get that up around 90 feet. Uh, is really where you're trying to get that. And that way, when you hit those long irons, they'll be coming in and landing softly as opposed to coming in so flat where they hit the green and then run out. Okay? So the, the big numbers we want to change are the path numbers, okay? And the height numbers are the two biggest areas that we want to see if we can get we can get fixed. Okay? Okay? Alright, let's go do it. Even though we're working on long irons, okay, I'm gonna have you do some exercise with a shorter iron okay. at first and then we're gonna uh, hit some long irons. So just to explain your swing, your right hand grip is under a lot on the grip, okay? So that means that to hit the ball straight, bring the club face back to straight, I have to come in with this right hand under. So, and it, it tends, because it starts so much under, if I just let my hand relax, it would go this direction. So as you go back, that's what your club does. It tends to go back close, what we call close, and then as you come back into the ball, you're in the process of opening it like that to try to get it in the air. What happens when you do that is that you never really know exactly how much loft you're going to have because that loft is changing all the way through the swing. Okay. Ideally, what you'd want is when you're coming into the ball, if you look at this little dot on top of the grip right here, you'd want that to always be on top. So as you're coming down, that dot's on top. At impact, the dot's on top, and on the follow through, the dot's on top. So when you're coming in like that, you always have the same amount of loft. And so as you can see, as I do that, I'm not changing the loft at all, and that'll allow me really to have a lot more loft at impact and hit the ball higher. Okay, so that's what, that's what we want to work towards to see if we can go through impact like that. Okay, so open in around, make a so you go one, two, okay? okay? And then here, here, there, okay? Mm -hmm. Just keep it going around, then you'll come more from the inside without having to try to so much, okay? Good.
Good. That was better. We'll see how much better you've done. Okay, first of all, we hit that more solid. You remember it was 138 on the shot uh, before that. Um, your attack angle is 3.2, which is really good. That's the angle at which you're hitting down, so that hasn't changed a lot. Uh, your spin is still between five and 6,000, so we've got mega spin in there, that's good. Now here's your swing path, and you can see how much your swing path changed, three and a half to the left to being 1.7 to the right. And that was, would be really, really good for you. Now the club face was a little bit too closed on that one, that's why it overhooked a little bit. But still, that's very, very, very good. That's a big change. That's a nice change that you made right there. Uh, and the height, you can see the height has gone up to 96 and a half feet. So that ball is going to land a lot softer. In fact, if we look at the landing angle on those shots, this is the angle at which the ball comes down into the ground. You want all your approach shots to be over 40 degrees, okay? And your drivers, you want it under 40 to make it roll. So you can see this first one, we had a had a landing angle of 38.7 degrees down, so that's coming in fairly flat. That'd be good for a driver. And then this one was 10 degrees steeper angle coming down, so this ball's going to stop a lot closer. So that's really what we're looking for. And so the way I'd like to see you work on it is to do it with the shorter clubs, because it's real easy, I think, to feel that toe up and toe up over there as opposed to shut to open. And then as you get to work on growing that swing a little bit, just keep growing it around. Just feel like, okay, opens and it just keeps going on around like that. And then when you come down, you go toe up to toe up, and over here you just keep on going around. Instead of going up and up, you're going around and around like that. And if you do that, what you'll find is that your short irons will start to flight down a little bit, your long irons will start to flight up a little bit. And uh, you'll be able to control your distance and be a good long arm player. That's the main thing. That's what I want. Okay. Good job. Thanks.